Hi everyone, this is Swamp Rabbit, and today I'm playing the To the Moon Odyssey, the hard level. And uh, for this walkthrough, I'm not going to be using any monkey knowledge. I'm also not going to use a hero. If you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know I don't like to use monkey knowledge, and I try to make sure I use a hero that everybody has. And in this case, only options are Benjamin and Geraldo, which a lot of people don't have. Now, if you have Geraldo, bring him with you. He's excellent. Uh, Benjamin could also be useful on some of them, but Geraldo more so, because Geraldo, you could use Geraldo with no monkey knowledge and have zero losses. Now, on this Odyssey, we will have balloon losses, which I hate to see, but there's no avoiding it. On three of the maps, there's just simply no way to get past the first round without taking losses. So we don't lose so many that we don't win, but it's not going to be a perfect game. The crew that I'm taking with me is one tack shooter, one ice monkey, five snipers, one sub, one pirate boat, one druid, one banana farm, one bomb shooter, one village, and one engineer. So let's begin. Okay, this is half cash, so it's going to be a miserable game. <laughs> the, uh, we will begin with an engineer and kind of place him next to this horizontal part right here and then give him a larger service area so he's got a good track coverage there. We're going to upgrade the engineer to sentry gun. Uh, next, I want to upgrade to faster engineering. And I do apologize uh, for not having this video published yesterday. I just didn't get a chance to play through this level of the Odyssey because I was at the Dean Lewis concert. Ooh, I'm flexing on you guys. Now, um, if you have a choice between Bloons and Dean Lewis, always, always, always pick Dean Lewis. That's just what I'm saying. The next thing that we want to do is upgrade to Sprockets, and that's 620. losses on this one. This is not one that we take any losses on. Okay, I'm going to add a sniper now and I want to put it just right under this vertical section so that its range covers pretty much, it covers everything except the top half of this loop. You can kind of see, I mean he kind of covers it up, but you can kind of see that he can see everything which is what you want. You want him to see as much as possible. Okay, with my 
sniper, the first thing I want to do is give him camo ability for round 24. Get him to target camo. metal jacket. Okay, after 27, you want to change the targeting from the sniper from first to strong, so that he'll hit all the leads first. On 28. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on strong for a while. And I'm going to add a tax shooter. I'm going to upgrade that tax shooter, 002. Engineer to Sentry Expert. The next thing I want to do is add a submarine. Now, if you look, there's kind of a line between engineer to the sniper. And I want the like the tip of the submarine, like just above that, and that's just to help him get the best view when we give him uh, advanced intel. We'll go ahead and give that sub advanced intel, and then just as soon as I get the money, I want to give it twin guns, and then air burst starts. first. Give it 
right blocker. radar scanner to my village. The important thing that that does is gives this engineer camo ability. Okay, uh, just as soon as we have the money, we're going to add a druid in the range of the village. And then we're going to upgrade it to 030 as soon as I have the money. sniper. I want to make sure that it's in range of the village. So, kind of right here. And then I'm going to want to upgrade this one to 102.
just right here, just to stand here. And that's to give the sub additional range. He's not going to be upgraded. Maybe not at all. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add a bomb shooter. I'm going to add it. In the range of the village. And then I want to upgrade that to uh, 0 to 0 to start with.
upgrade to Moab is faster. Yeah, then I'll go ahead and add full metal jacket and night vision goggles to the sniper that's near the entrance. Then I'll use my bomb shooter ability on the BFP on 78. Then I'll give sh 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 shrapnel to the sniper by the entrance. bomb shooter ability every time it's available. Okay. And we have completed Island 1. So on to the first nightmare one. A quiet street. This is one that we cannot get past round 1 using no monkey knowledge and no hero. Quiet Street is a military only map, so the only thing that we can start with is a sniper. And so we're gonna start placing one sniper and we're gonna place it on strong. With it on strong, it loses, um, I think it's five fewer balloons than the other um, targeting preferences. And this is still a very brutal round. We're gonna lose 32 balloons on this round. but it's all okay because we won't lose any more after that on this map. <laughs> and then I'm gonna place another sniper. It's targeting will be first. As soon as I have the funds, I'll add a third sniper. I want is a pirate ship and I want it targeted on last. I 
I want to upgrade to faster shooting as soon as I've got the funds there. And then I want to give long range on the pirate ship. I want to do is upgrade to double shot. And then I want to add a sub. I'm going to give myself longer range. For round 24, I want to add Crow's Nest to the pirate ship, so 202 on the pirate ship. metal jacket so the first sniper I put down the one that's on top uh, the, the one the one that is targeting strong all tongue twisted today starts to my sub. Then I want to take the second sniper I added, give it full metal jacket so it's targeting its first, and then I want to give it night vision goggles. Then I want to give it shrapnel. Now I want to turn my pirate ship into a destroyer.
give armor piercing darts to my sub. On 33, I'm going to go ahead and get Bouncing Bullets to my second sniper. Okay, then I want to get Faster Firing to the other three. At these other three, I want to give them Full Metal Jacket and then Faster Firing, even Faster Firing. Model jacket, faster firing, even faster firing. I'm gonna have this sniper target camo. Next I'm going to turn my pirate ship into an aircraft carrier, so that's going to be 402. I do want to change my targeting to first on my pirate ship.
a little bit short on money, so I am going to sell one of my snipers, one of my 102 snipers, the one targeting first, then I am going to upgrade the carrier flagship. I will rebuy my sniper. And then I'll get the full metal jacket. Faster firing, even faster firing. I wanted to have this pirate ship fully upgraded before round 63. Next, I am going to add the sniper on top of my carrier flagship. I'm going to upgrade it to two. Four zero as I get money. I'll give it large cleavery. And I'll give this guy large cleavery too. So after one brutal first round, we are able to complete um, the quiet street and still be alive to continue on our odyssey. For Bizarre, uh, to minimize losses on this first round, the best way I've found to do that is to start with a druid. I want to upgrade it to Thorn Swarm and I want to put the targeting on last. Uh, when you place your druid, just kind of put it in between the two tracks, but in line with these two vertical paths. Now I'm going to start with it on last, but as the blue balloons get to here, I want to switch its targeting to first. Ok, 
Okay, I usually only lose two there, but that's three. I can live with the three loss. I'm going to leave it on first for the next round, but I am going to run this round slowly because with just one druid out there, it's not much of a defense. I'm going to add a pirate ship right here. So I just need to have one balloon hit. Which, if I had only missed two on that first round, I would have had enough to do it before the round started. running it slow here because it is primarily a druid defense still and this druid misses fewer when he's going slow than when the balloons are going fast. I want to go ahead and give Heart of Oak to my Druid and switch him to Strong. I can speed this up. <laughs> I forgot it was going slow. I have gotten so used to that rhythm. Okay, I want to place a sniper between these two vertical posts here. And I want to place it on strong. When I have enough, I want to upgrade to Druid of the Jungle. So that should be during this round. I want to give longer range to my pirate. firing. Double shot. And then crow 
Crow's Nest. Next upgrade is to Destroyer on my pirate ship, so 302 on the pirate ship. I want to upgrade to aircraft carrier.
because I have the funds, I want to upgrade to carrier flagship. Uh, now I want to add a village onto my druid. I want to give it some camo ability, so I want to upgrade it to 020.
Hi Finance, I am going to start with the pirate ship just as close to the bridge as possible on the top side of the bridge. I'm going to split as close to center as you can. And then during this first round, as soon as I have money, I am going to upgrade it to longer range. shooter on this right corner on the bottom. Uh, then I want to get faster shooting on my pirate ship. I want to upgrade my tax shooter to more tax and even more tax. I'm going to want to upgrade to double shot. Then I want to give tech sprayer and faster shooting on my tech shooter. And then I want even faster shooting on the tech shooter. I want to add an engineer just to the top of the bridge as close to about there. I want to give the engineer larger service area. It'll just barely reach the size of but a little bit helps. I want to go ahead and give camo to my pirate ship so I don't forget. Okay, I want to give sentry guns to my engineer. And then faster engineering. Sprockets. And 
fact, I'm going to go ahead and add deconstruction. Okay, the next thing I want to do is place a sniper. I'm going to place it like kind of in the center right here by the water. I'm going to put it on strong and when I get 350, I will upgrade that to full metal jacket. I have the funds, I want to upgrade my pirate ship to destroyer, so 302 on the pirate ship. And then I want to add a druid. You can fit like kind of by the sniper. And I want to place him on strong and upgrade him to 030. I want to upgrade my engineer to Sentry Expert, so it's at to upgrade my pirate ship to aircraft carrier. That's at 402.
ahead and upgraded my sniper to um, 240. Upgrade that to two four zero. So as I get the money, I'll, I'll make this upgrade. When I get the money, I'll upgrade it to 205.
enough money, so I'll upgrade to the tax zone 205 on my tax shooter. Uh, the next thing I'll do is add an ice monkey. I'm going to add it down just below the bridge on the left side. I want to upgrade that to 204. So as soon as I get the funds, I'll upgrade it to 204. Four zero, and let's see what other money I have. <laughs> can I fit a sniper on here? No, I can't fit a sniper there. But I can uh, build this little building, and I'll place a sniper on the top of it. I'll upgrade it to three zero two. And I'll use my bomb shooter ability every time it's off cooldown. Okay, so high finance, we get through that one. No monkey knowledge, no hero, and no losses. So now we move on to moon landing, where once again we're gonna have some brutal losses on that first round. We are going to begin. For moon landing, we're going to start with a sniper. And uh, take your time when you're placing it. You want to make sure that it can see the exit. You want it to see into each of the three pods. And then you want to place it on strong. During the next round, and that was another brutal round. Uh, the next round, we're going to add another sniper. I want to add it right around here. It's going to be able to see very well into both of these, and then I'll also have uh, you going this way. So I'm going to slow it down. Well, I'll let it go faster for a while, but when it gets close, I'll slow it down so that I have longer to add it. did miss one additional blue balloon there, but that's okay.
and now I'm going to place a third sniper. I want it to see down this exit path. So this area over here, I want it to be able to see that. Uh, now I'll add a fourth sniper. I'm gonna add it like right here next to this guy. It's got a really good range of the first pod and it's got and the entrance and then it's got a little bit of a range in the second third pod. So I'll go ahead and add that one there. If you want to play around with the placement of these different snipers, you might be able to get it to lower losses on that first round. Or you, and you might not have any losses on the second round. The next thing I want to do is add an engineer. Like this little area. And then when I have $300, I want to give it longer or larger range. I want to take the first map I've added and I want to give it camo ability. And then I want to give it full metal jacket. Now I want to upgrade my engineer and add sentry gun. I want to add is a druid. I want to put it on this little part that juts out here. I want to place it on strong and I want to upgrade it to zero.
I want to go ahead and give camo and then shrapnel to the second sniper that I added. next thing I want to do is add my banana farm. Then I want to upgrade this banana farm to 3 to 0. I should have enough uh, of a defense in place that I can afford to do this now. If you want to, you could have put that banana farm over here and maybe it would get a little bit of a buff from the druid if you upgrade it to 04 or 040. Okay, uh, what I want to do now, I want to take my st first sniper that I put down, the one on strong, I want to give it bouncing bullets. Sniper to supply drop. 
going to want to be sure and collect all of the um, drops every time I have one. And I want to start upgrading another sniper. I'll give it a large calibre. snipers and I want to upgrade this village to 203, I want to get it upgraded to 204, or 240. Right now it's at 230, I want it at 240. Be sure to collect your supply drops every time they're available. I'm going to use my bomb shooter ability on round 60. to 420. Okay, 
On 66, I used the Bomb Shooter ability, but I waited until the regular Moabs were gone, and then I, so that it would hit one of the reinforced ones.
for around 80. I want to sell this banana farm. I want to upgrade the bomb shooter to Moab Eliminator. And let's see what I've got left. I will add a tax shooter. Maybe. Maybe I'll add a tax shooter if I can find a place to stick it. Okay, I can place it kind of by the druid, just a little bit to the front. And I will upgrade that as far as I can, which is going to be 204. And I'll go ahead and upgrade this sniper into large cleave ray because I'm never for it. Alright, and let's go. I'll use my Moab Eliminator just as soon as it's available. And every time it's on cooldown, I will use this bomb shooter ability. Just like that, with only, let's see, what is it, 66 lives lost, we have completed this Odyssey. No monkey knowledge at all, and no hero. So, um, if you have any questions at all about any of the maps, just let me know. Uh, just specify which map in your question that, uh, that you um, have a question about. And, um, as always, thanks for watching.